Hey, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Danny P. And I wanted to come on right quick. Um, I am going to start a blog on my sister lock journey. And I know that there are a thousand blogs out there. And you're like, here go another one, right? Well, I like to say, you know, when I'm searching through YouTube, I tend to try to look at more people with hair texture like mine. And I'm telling y'all, I have like that thick 4C, like it needs some extra love, okay? I, a lot of stuff. And so, um, anyway, my mother-in-law um, got sister locks maybe like seven or eight years ago. And I have been wanting them, but seeing that how good hers look, and she lives in New York, um, where I met at the time, um, they wasn't really doing sister locks. So, I, I kind of was on a hold. And then I guess as it caught on and people were wanting to get sister locks more people were getting certified in my area but then it's still like okay let me see what you could do what are you doing then you know i'm researching these horror stories of you know people grids messed up or they had too many locks or too little locks or whatever so this is um i have true 4c hair okay um when i did my consultation she did um a section in the back and this was like maybe a year ago I actually did my consultation. She did a section in the back. She did um a couple with the three, the three pattern and a four pattern, different ones. Um she decided to go with the three on mine. I did pay a little more because obviously my hair grew, right? So she quoted me one price. But this is my grid. I wanted to say that the way she did mine is that mines could lay any way that I part them, okay? And it looks pretty natural. If I wanted to do a middle part, I'm just trying to show y'all. You know, I could, and they will fall the way I needed the, need them to fall. Now, so, this will be the first official. So, this is, today is Monday, August 24th, and my install was Sunday, August the 23rd. So it took two days from nine to nine and then nine to eight. She actually finished the second day um, pretty quicker. Um, so some things I did not know, even though I was doing a lot of research, um, I did not know going in was they give you a shampoo or I was given a shampoo and I had to wash my hair with it. I could not comb it. And when she said that, I'm like, can I finger detangle? I mean, because when I tell y'all my hair, like, not up if I don't comb this stuff or do something, plait it, something. Anyway, I was given strict instructions not to. So, um, here go my end pieces. And they're, they was, like, really, really dry. Like, my hair was really, really dry. Um, my scalp was really, really itchy. So, she did put, like... Um, some anti-itch dandruff stuff on it for me. Um, I sprayed it with the water, you know, and then my ends will start curling eventually. I know they say like no oils on the sister locks. So I am gonna have to probably put like aloe vera on because I need to tame this. And that's why I kind of wanted to do the video. Like I know it's certain things that we can't do, but it's like, you know your hair and um my hair has a tendency like if i don't do nothing to this scalp or whatever it'll get really dry and flaky and i want to say bleed or whatever but anywho um she has some tea tree and some peppermint she kind of like treated my scalp this was just for me when i had my afro i just would randomly just pull stuff like i would go days without combing my hair and then obviously that's that's a result of that um, over here was like some medication and it was getting thin, but so I am going to turn around. This is the back. So you can see. All right. So like I said, I am going to come on here and document. I'm trying to do one, um, at a minimum once a week at, I mean, a minimum once a month, the maximum once a week, whether it's the lock and I do my makeup or something with it. But um, I would like 
your support share i will try my best if you have any tips from you seeing this since i'm newly locked i've been natural for a very long time but i understand locks are different so i kind of have like different textures in my hair so like I'm excited about the journey, but I know my hair. So I have like 4Z, like right here, um, right in here is like a real nice texture. And then here is something different. So I'm just curious to see like during this process, which section really takes or will all of it take or anything. But anyway, thank you for joining your girl, Danny P. I will be on um, doing some styles and everything. So I'm really excited about the versatility of the sister locks okay so join me later thank you make sure you do me a favor like share subscribe and um shoot me some tips some um some some pros and cons some do's and some don'ts we're gonna do this journey together so I'm quite sure it's gonna be a phase where I'll be like ah what did I do why did I do this so um my first pro tip before I get off, I'm going to try to always leave a pro tip. With me being new, I did my research. Um, the longer your hair is, most likely the more you're going to pay. So if you're thinking about this and you're like, oh, my hair is too short. I don't want to look like a boy or whatever. That is probably the best time to do them. And they won't be as ex as expensive. Okay. Pro tip one from Danny P. Um, I contemplated for a while and you see my hair grew and so it costs more. So understand that when you make this commitment, it is a commitment because of course I'm like, okay, the amount of money I just paid, this is in, okay? Like I'm locked. This fully committed to you. Okay, that's just my silly part of me, all right? So pro tip one. Make the commitment, all right? So, and be able to upkeep the maintenance. So, quite sure. They say, I was told in eight weeks to come back. Four to, well, four to six weeks. But I kind of like, I don't know. But I'm digging it, yo. So, have a great day.